Hey, Prime Minister Theresa May's Brexit strategy is looking to be at risk. Wall Street banks may be losing some patience. UK government editor Eddie Buckle joins us now from London. Eddie, talk to me about Pretty Patel. We're going to begin there with Prime Minister May's team. Who is she and what has been happening over the last week? Well, Priti Patel is the uh, International Development Secretary. She's one of the more junior members of the Cabinet, but she's been in trouble because she made this uh, visit to Israel in August, uh, ostensibly as a family holiday, but it's then emerged that she's been she had during that visit uh, quite a lot of meetings with Israeli government officials and a meeting with uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and she didn't tell uh, Theresa May about it and she didn't tell the Foreign Office about it and as the, uh, the those meetings have emerged this week and the details of what she's been discussing she's been in uh, more and more hot water she uh, set off on a trip to East Africa yesterday um, but uh, this morning she's had to turn around and she's on a flight back from Nairobi to London right now and presumably she'll be heading to see Theresa May uh, when she gets off the plane at Heathrow in about three hours time. And Eddie as she's on that flight more and more details come out about this and in the meantime as the Prime Minister grapples with her own team Wall Street banks are said to be losing their patience with the Brexit strategy. Are we meet reaching, approaching that Brexit point of no return where some of these banks have to make a move? Well, uh, David Davis, uh, the Brexit secretary, will be back in Brussels this week uh, on Friday um, uh, for another round of talks. Those talks actually get underway again tomorrow. Uh, there is a, a desire, I think there's a desire on both sides to get a move on in these discussions. They need to reach a um, fairly swift uh, agreement on Britain's divorce bill uh, from the European Union and on European Union citizens' rights in the UK and UK citizens' rights in the EU um, before EU leaders next meet in December. And then if there's agreement, if yeah. there's progress, then um, they can get on to talking about trade and transition, the transitional arrangements towards a future trade deal. And it's the transitional arrangements uh, that uh, I think banks and other companies are really keen to find out about.